Growing up, I felt very different than everyone else. I felt like I was invisible for a number of reasons. I was suffering uh, from a variety of health concerns and symptoms that no one really understood or could pinpoint for a number of years. Um, and uh, my entire childhood was wasted away on suffering with debilitating symptoms for so long and for a number of years. It was becoming so um, severe that was interfering with my day-to-day -day and my activities, schooling and everything. I really struggled. <sighs> Growing up invisible is never an easy thing to do. When you are 90 to 100 percent in a wheelchair, um, you are obvious to have some sort of physical condition. Not all conditions are obvious or visible. And even though many rare diseases are hard to diagnose, even the visible ones, there is a likelihood chance of invisible illnesses of many kinds um, to be difficult to diagnose only because the person does not look sick and they look normal. Um, their symptoms aren't does not appear to be obvious, which can be a constant struggle. It's time to make invisible visible and to have not to not have so many people struggling not only with their physical condition but many people with invisible illnesses struggle mentally and emotionally as well because um their illness is not seen so many people try to um say it's this or that um they try to claim it's this thing or that thing they act like they know your body more than you know yourself well actually you know yourself better than anyone else you know and it's not like it's never easy um, growing up invisible. Um, I suffered for years without getting the appropriate therapies, the medication used to help manage my symptoms. The thing about an invisible illness is when it's hard to diagnose, your therapies, your treatments, your medications or whatever um, doctors use to help manage your condition is often delayed for a number of years because you, they're having trouble diagnosing it. So they, they can't pinpoint, um, they want the evidence saying that you have this condition um, before they can proceed with like a treatment plan or the medications, the right medications can be given to you or the appropriate therapies can be given to you. When your illness is hard to diagnose, this is often delayed and usually for a number of years. Um, I have a rare neurological condition and it took a number of years to get the treatments, the medication, the therapies that I needed um, because to manage my symptoms only because they cannot pinpoint that I, they cannot prove I had this condition. I've had several um, testing done. I've had blood work. I've had several, several brain scans done. 
to try to confirm I had some form of this condition. But without success, everyone kept telling me that it was okay, um, that my brain scans were normal for a number of years, when it actually really wasn't until this year. I had recently discovered after seeing a new neurologist that I do have a deteriorating cerebellum in the back of my brain from my condition, okay? It is thought I have a form of ataxia called episodic ataxia. Um, it's been suspected that I have type 2. I personally haven't had the genetic testing done to confirm that, but based on my symptoms, I have prolonged episodes. I have prolonged attacks of this condition and um, it has caused me uh, debilitating symptoms and sporadic bouts or episodes. And in between having the episodes, I appear fairly okay, but I do continue to have mild signs um, in between that can be seen on a neurological exam um, by a neurologist that specifically knows more about episodic ataxia. Because if you see a neurologist that doesn't know too much about this rare neurological condition, it could be very difficult because your neurological exams do tend to look almost completely normal and they may brush it off as well you know your neurological exams are totally normal when they actually aren't so it's very much difficult to like pinpoint um episodic ataxia um with episodic ataxia some types or there are some circumstances where it can be associated with a secondary or a progressive ataxia where the individual does not just experience sporadic bouts or episodes but they continue to have these symptoms in between and this can gradually get this can gradually get worse um the evidence can be seen on an MRI or brain scan, um, which I have, um, where it showed midline cerebellar atrophy or shrinking of the cerebellum. Because it's a degenerative condition, it um, deteriorates your cerebellum. Um, this may not be in all cases, but this has been in my case. And like I said, this case took a number of years. Um, so growing up, I felt definitely invisible. I've had trouble just receiving a diagnosis. Um, I am diagnosed with episodic ataxia type 2, but I have not yet had the genetic confirmed or uh, variant found to be causing the type of episodic ataxia I have, and I'm currently trying to go through genetics. But according to my family history, it is said that they had a confirmed diagnosis through genetics. So um, this is the process I'm going through right now, and I'm 28 years old currently. Um, I've begun this journey at around the age of nine, where I started having my first onset onset of symptoms and it started out as dizziness. As I got older, it just got worse. It progressed. Um, the episodes became my daily life. Um, and it was it was not easy. Currently I seem to be doing a lot better than I was episode wise but I do struggle I have another um condition um I have dysautonomia um which is malfunctioning of the autonomic nervous system which controls internal functions like blood pressure and heart rate um and among other 
internal um, organs or functions, the autonomic nervous system controls and But I do frequently use a wheelchair because I do experience bothersome symptoms even when I'm not in, in, in an episode of my condition. I have symptoms when I'm not in an episode or I have these, um, I have trouble standing for very long and I get so tired. I also use my wheelchair for long distance because walking a lot seems to trigger a lot of my problems with the ataxia.